How to use Midjourney and ChatGPT prompts to create t-shirt designs, print on demand. So go ahead and open your browser on your device. First thing that we need to do is to teach ChatGPT what Midjourney is and how does Midjourney prompt work. In that way, it will know how to generate its own prompt that we can then input in Midjourney without composing our own. So let's now introduce first what Midjourney is, just for ChatGPT to know how it works and what it does. To do this, I'll just search and copy this result. It's just a brief introduction on Midjourney. And once you have that on your message bar, hold the shift key on your keyboard and enter it. This will make a division between your text. Next thing that we will provide ChatGPT is a formula of the Midjourney prompt. In this way, it has a template to follow. So type that in. Here is a prompt formula of Midjourney and then a colon. Again, hold shift and then enter. First up in here is the image we're prompting. This would be the main element of the image. It could be a cat, a dog, a grill, a house, a cup, basically the main focus of the image. And close that in a parenthesis and then put a comma, followed by the style of the artwork. This could be vector, neon, photorealistic, and then the next would be the mood of the artwork, and lastly, the lighting of the artwork. If you have any additional details that you would like to add, like color palette, the vibe, anything specific, just add it in here and just enclose it in a parenthesis. Once you're done with your formula, press shift and enter again. Do two line breaks and then let's add a command again. Just to be sure, add in each prompt must always end with t-shirt design, graphic, vector, contour, and then lastly, the white background. In this way, the style of the image will be consistent and the white background will make the design easier to put on each t-shirt layout. And lastly, add in don't reference any of the original formula in the resulting prompts. This is to avoid ChatGPT from putting this specific words to the generated prompts for Midjourney. And before entering this, just ask ChatGPT to send a yes if you understand this formula. After that, just wait for ChatGPT to reply and then you can then start asking for prompts of your desired image. Let's say we want an image of a vintage motorbike in front of a sunset. So let's type in three prompts for vintage motorbike in front of a sunset. Once you type in your image description, enter that in and as you can see, ChatGPT is now generating the prompt. Now go to Discord to access Midjourney. Make sure that you have a Discord account since this is the only way to access Midjourney. If you don't have it yet, go to a browser, search for Midjourney. Once you're in their site, you need to click on the sign in button and you will then be asked to log in your Discord account. So just make sure that you have a Discord account since we will be using that one to use Midjourney. Once you're logged in, your profile will show. And here is the profile page with the images I previously generated. And here is the Discord channel of Midjourney. This channel looks intimidating at first, but what we need here is any of these three newbie channels. Well, this is the free version wherein we can type the command for Midjourney to generate an image from this channel. Now, as you can see, everyone is here and everyone is generating their own image. And this channel could be a little chaotic. And if you're not subscribed to any of their plans, you cannot use majority of the features. Also, what you generated can be used for commercial purposes. So if you're subscribed to any of their plans, you also get a private bot wherein commands of other users will not be bothering you. So once you're in here, type in a slash followed by the word imagine. This command will then show, so just click on it. And in this prompt, this is where we will type in the description of the image that we want. So basically in here, paste in what we copied from ChatGPT, wait for this to load, and once your image has loaded, you will then see four images. 
You can upscale one of the images by tapping on this U1, U2, U3, or U4 buttons. This is their numbering, by the way. This is image 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then the U obviously stands for upscale. Once it's downloading, you can then see the image individually. Now, if you didn't like any of the results but you want to use the same prompt, in our case, it's the motorbike, just click on this refresh button and it will then generate new set of images with the same prompt. Now, another feature that you can use if you're not yet satisfied with the results that you currently have is the version. This V1, V2, V3, and V4 means version and once you click on one, variations of that certain image will then show and then you can choose from there. Once you have a desired image, make sure that you upscale it and from these options, click on the web button. This will direct you to the default browser of your device and in here you will see the size, the date, the aspect ratio and other details of your mid-journey generated image. And from here, click on the save icon. Now that you have the graphic of your t-shirt, you can use any editing application or any editing platform to put your design on top of t-shirts so that it will be ready for selling. One of the easiest platforms that you can use is Canva. This is a free platform where you can lay out and edit graphic designs and any creative artwork. So here, I just got a t-shirt template from Google. And then I uploaded the mid-journey generated image using this icon. And once I click on it in this gallery, it will appear on the canvas where I can adjust its design. Another site that you can use is Redbubble. In this site, you can upload an artwork and it will then be automatically put on top of a lot of products. Once you're in the Redbubble homepage, click on this add new work. In here, tap on add new work. And then in here, choose our image. Once it's loaded, scroll down and in here, you will see a lot of product with your image on top of it. As you can see, our image is already on top of the t-shirt. Now click on the edit button to adjust it. And from here, you can edit its design, the t-shirt style. So from tank top, v-neck shirts, long sleeves, and a lot more is available in here. Below that, you can also edit the color and the size of your shirt. And once you're done, just add in a little title, a description, some tags to make your item easier to search. And once you're done editing, you can then save this. Or you can also check out some products where your design would look good. So that is how to use Midjourney and chat GPT prompts to create t-shirt designs print on demand. Do let us know if this video helped you out. And if you have any question, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.